My name is Matthew Bird, and I am the 2021 Faculty Fellow in the Costume and Textile Department at the RISD Museum. I've been researching some textiles from the Lucy Truman Aldrich Collection. This series of short videos will investigate a 19th century rumal from India. In the first video, I offered an overview of what a rumal is. In this video, I want to talk about the images used on the textile. Many of the compositions and figure groupings embroidered onto rumals were copied from Pahari miniature paintings. To appreciate the images on rumals, we need to look first at Pahari paintings. Pahari paintings developed from Mughal paintings in the early 18th century. Mughal paintings focus on portraits of specific historical figures and stories related to the Mughal rulers and their families. Pahari artists shifted the subject matter of their paintings, focusing on the more abstract, eternal love of Radha and Krishna, as well as other more spiritual narratives. As with Mughal miniature paintings, Pahari paintings celebrate the skill required to include extreme detail at a tiny scale using gouache and opaque watercolor on paper. The paintings vary in size from just one or two inches up to nine or ten requiring brushes made from animal hair and sometimes using just one single hair to create the finest possible lines. The skill required to execute these paintings made the artist perfectly suited to drawing the intricate images used on rumals. Indian art historian Dr. B. N. Goswami wrote, visually the connection between the work of the Bihari painters and the rumals is so close that in so many ways it can be seen as Sahodara, born of the same womb. Painters would draw the images onto plain muslin for women to embroider, creating a divide between the conception of the image and its execution with needles and thread. We can appreciate this level of detail by looking at line drawings used for Bihari paintings, but we can also examine some extant examples of unfinished rumals that let us see the line work showing through the embroidery. Learning about this close relationship between miniature paintings and rumals, I went on the hunt for paintings that contained images similar to the ones on the rumal in the RISD collection. I looked at the poses, the clothing, and any distinctive objects or settings. Some of the scenes involved Krishna, who's depicted in blue, and Radha, showing interactions and communicating narratives with obvious overlapping details and poses. I found obvious overlaps with ragmalas, paintings related to Indian musical modes or ragas. I also found overlap with scenes of the Ashtanaika, which are heroines depicting different states in a romantic relationship. The Ashtanaikas are used as a theme throughout Indian art in painting, sculpture, music, dance, and literature. So this seemed like a really good place to continue my investigation. And I found that the eight panels on the RISD Rumal correspond exactly to the Ashtanaikas. Here are descriptions of each of them. The first shows one deceived by her lover, seen throwing off her jewelry in anger or despair. So on the ground there you can see bits of discarded jewelry. Next we have one dressed up for union, usually depicted sitting on a bed of greenery underneath a cluster of trees. We have one distressed by separation, shown grasping a branch of a tree and gazing into the distance in search of her lover. Next is one having her husband in subjection, and this is usually illustrated with Krishna applying henna to Radha's feet. There's one enraged by her lover, usually for infidelity. And we have one separated by a quarrel. This usually shows Radha on a platform or a bed and Krishna either entreating or slinking away in defeat. And frequently there is also a peacock in this image, which is used throughout Indian art to represent Krishna. Next, we have one with a sojourning husband, showing Radha on a platform or inside, bemoaning her missing love to her attendant. And also often in these images, we see Krishna returning, but out of view of Radha. And then finally, the best of all, one going to meet her lover. In this image, she's lost patience waiting for him to return. She's dressed up in her finery and she's brazenly going out at night in search of him. Can't wait any longer. And these images are full of snakes and demons and challenges along the way. And usually there's jewelry that's fallen off in the chaos of the moment. So the Rumal and the RISD collection, instead of portraying the gopis dancing or an historical event 
or a piece of Indian folklore contains images that relate to each of the stages of romance as explained in the Ashtanaika. There's much more that we can talk about with this textile. In the next segment, I want to look at the materials that were used to create it.